What is good, Mexican planners? Yo, frequently I am met with utter surprise when I tell my family and friends back in the US about services and amenities that we have here in Merida, Mexico. It occurred to me that the reason my US family and friends might think that Mexico doesn't have certain services is because they consider it a third world country. Newsflash, Mexico is not a third world country. Mexico is full of the kindest family people you will ever meet and it's full of first world services. Secondly, I feel that many Americans that haven't traveled very much subconsciously feel like everything in the U.S. is a little bit better. Nah, bruh. It's not. So today I'm going to start a new series about living in Merida, Mexico that shows you the lifestyle level up that we have from the goods and services that are available to us in Merida. Let's go. So be sure to stay connected to the end of the video because I'm going to start a new thing called the random cultural trivia fact. And it's just going to be some random fact not associated with the content of this video, but it's something that I think you will find interesting to know because it will help your transition moving from the US or Canada to Mexico. So stay tuned for the cultural trivia fact. I get so here we are entering La Isla Mall. One of the things you may not see is that there's an infrared temperature scan and then there's sanitizer that uh, I'll stop and put on my hands. One of the things I thought was strange is that the Starbucks was closed and also the Mumusu um, was closed. And I realized after reading an article in the paper that they were both shut down for not following the uh, COVID protocols. The government does not play here in the state of Yucatan. Today, I am bringing you guys along with me for a journey to Juan Camine. Juan Camine is a barber shop here in La Isla Mall, and it is the dopest barber shop I've ever been to. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek, but La Isla Mall is pretty special. Juan Camine is even better. So Hey, so this shave is a straight razor shave with a uh, very cool process. They start off with an oil treatment on your scalp. Um, this is an infused oil mixed with several different things. And uh, they put that on to get your pores open up. And, and then they follow that up with the, uh, the hot shaving cream. And the hot shaving cream is then followed by a hot towel, which feels absolutely amazing. Then star and start a colony. You know it doesn't matter who we are, we'll be the king and queen. One of the cool things about Wine Camine is that it's a full service barbershop from straight razors to just regular cuts, shampoos, whatever you need for men. Um, it's also a full bar as well as they have delicious coffee and the music that they play here is a mix between classic rock to old school blues um, and old school soul. So it's a really good vibe. 
here you can see Franco finishing up with a quartz stone on my head, um, just kind of as a finishing touch. And, uh, you know, another good job, another job well done. So I'm here in La Isla Mall and as uh, I like to refer to La Isla as the dog mall. This is a mall where people literally uh, bring their dogs to the mall and walk around. I think it's probably the first in Merida to allow such a thing, but it's a pretty cool, pretty cool to see. If you are a dog lover and you want to get in the air conditioning, this is a great place to go. So I'm going to actually walk around uh, the mall a little bit and kind of show you what is available. Wanna take you La Isla Mall is known for its um, indoor entertainment as well as its outdoor entertainment. This mall is called the Mallertainment and everything you purchase you can actually uh, get points so if you look at the door there you'll see i'm talking about the mall entertainment you can get points for all the things that you purchase there is a mac store here um high-end furniture store they're selling there's a hyundai store you can buy you a hyundai in la isla actually have an entire Hyundai store. So I'm gonna walk y'all back and then take you into the front here, to the back side. So this is the outdoor area. They're building condos uh, behind La Isla. I don't know if you can see that. And then the, the main feature back here is this lake where you can ski. You see this? So they have it kind of set up like a little park but there's a lake back here where you can actually ski on this lake you're pulled by a pulley system and uh it gets certainly it stays hot in merida so that'll probably open up pretty soon a couple of my favorite restaurants well, one of my favorite restaurants is here walk by this fountain so you can kind of see but one of my favorite restaurants is Tatamar and Tatamar is the sister restaurant to Apoloa uh, Apoloa is located in Parque Santa Lucia and I love it it's a Yucatecan mix um, Tatamar is pretty special You're my strawberry This is new, Moma, Mojala. I might have to eat here. Check that out, pretty nice bar, pretty nice area. Pretty cool, right? So they have a, and I don't know if this is open or not, but that is like a Fogo de Chao type of restaurant. And then the Boutique de Waffle. Waffle Boutique. They don't have waffle houses here. They do have a waffle boutique. And up there, which I'll take you in just a bit, that is, see if I can get it up there. That is the food court overlooking the, uh, the, the skiing area. So we are back inside now at the uh, latter part. And one of the cool things about this section of the mall is um, this is where all the entertainment stuff happened. And it looks like it's pretty much shut down. I mean, this is still the pandemic. 
One of the key things about the mall entertainment was this uh, train situation that they had here. That you could jump on and ride the train throughout the mall. Uh, the kids absolutely love that. So that was one of the cool things about the mall. And a lot of the malls actually have something very similar. But it would take you the length of the mall. The other thing here are these uh, little scooters. I don't know if you can see those. But you could scoot around. Let's see if I can get those. You could scoot around in the uh, with the little scooters here. And then they had this whole section that was like an arcade slash um, game room. And then if you can see way outside, let's see if I can zoom in. But outside there was a whole section of other games and, and bumper cars and, and rides and that kind of thing. So pretty special area. This mall, like I said, was definitely built for entertainment. Play Dome. And down here, yes, we have Krispy Kreme. This is the Krispy Kreme kiosk. They love Krispy Kreme here in Mexico. But one of the other cool things was this, uh, these little carts. I've actually ridden one of those big horses in another mall. So you have these horses that you can ride. Pretty cool. It was actually a, uh, a Mexico bucket list item I wanted to do. As soon as I saw those horses in, it's probably 10 years ago in Guadalajara. And so a bucket item for me was to ride one and I was able to ride. They didn't have them the size I needed at the time, but then they, uh, I guess they, they got wise and realized older people wanted to ride those horses too. So we're going back upstairs. I'm going to take you to the food court. They have a movie theater here as well. A trampoline park. Jumping land. There's a dog. I don't think I've ever been here and they didn't have at least one dog. I didn't see at least one dog. <laughs> oh, fur baby. <laughs> so, La Isla is one of five malls that I know of in Merida that are actual mall malls and then there's four of them in the north so this is the food court <laughs> gracias so this is the food court one of the cool things about it is they have all different types of burgers and what have you that looks absolutely delicious. Then they got a whole bar section in the middle. And as I told you, one of the coolest things is the patio with, uh, let's see if I can get out there. So here's the patio with the uh, view of the lake. And then if I walk over to this side, you'll see 
This is where they had the entertainment section with the attractions and what have you. So, La Isla Mall. I saved one of the coolest attractions for last. They have this actual hot air balloon in the parking lot. That's an attraction that you can ride. This balloon goes up in the air uh, when the conditions are right and that everything is open. And I mentioned this earlier, but for everything you buy in the mall or all the shopping that you do, you can turn that in and get points to ride all of these attractions. So check out La Isla. It's one of the best malls in the city. Today's Mexico cultural trivia fact is, did you know that the people here in Mexico work six days a week. So business days are Monday through Saturday, not Monday through Friday. Um, unless you have like an office job, if you're a white collar worker, you might work Monday through Friday, but most working class folks here in Mexico work six days a week, which I thought was interesting. So you can pretty much get anything done Monday through Saturday. Now, the flip side of that is on Sundays, they are, there's nobody on the streets. The streets are vacant. There, there are no cars early in the morning. People are out enjoying their family life. And so you'll typically see folks out with their families on Sundays doing brunches and in the BC Ruta riding bikes and all sorts of things. So Sunday is family day, but Monday through Saturday, they're hustling, right? Every day they hustling six days a week here in Merida, Mexico. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave me that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. When you ring that bell, you'll be notified of new content that we create the minute it's published. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Mix It Plans Monty, I'm out.